Welcome. My name is Premnath from Belfast Climate Solutions, and in this video, I'm going to speak about a new system of sustainability versus an old system of sustainability. Mainly, we're going to look at the differences between these two and what we have to prepare. The first thing we see here is that there is no keyboard on the new one, and that's because the new system of sustainability encrypted the touch interface in all interactions on the unit is wireless touch interface. Besides that, it has the same size, and you also have the same size of screen, and you can replace or two. But there are more differences than just appearance. If we take a closer look here and open the lid side here, you see we have all connections and wires indicating which wires are going. They are indicated in the lid as well, like we have if you take a closer look here, you can see we have a power supply on the far left side here. Then we have two relay outputs and also a CAN bus. The CAN bus is not used in the current version that we have today, but it is there so it can be prepared for future use. Another difference we have in this left side is also that we have these segregation plates so we can segregate the high voltage from the low voltage. For instance, if you want to use a low voltage on the relays, you can do that and then it will be separate. This doesn't mean or limit you to use low voltage on the relay outputs. You can still use high voltage. The only thing you have to be aware of is that you, if you use high voltage on relay 1, you should also use high voltage on high voltage on relay 2. And yes, we can use the relay 2 on this new unit as well. It has now been enabled in the software so you can configure it and program it in the alarm light. Another main difference in the unit is that we have the Ethernet port which is moved to the inside of the unit. And this is done to avoid that anybody accidentally unplug the Ethernet cable. Because earlier it was mounted here on the outside and anybody could easily plug it out and then you lose connection to it. This has now been moved to the inside of the unit so that it won't just be plugged out like it was before. And also, it can be further secured by these cable strips, holders or sockets, where you can connect the wire and then fix it with these cable strips. We have now another connection here. The Ethernet port that we used to have before is now changed to also have an Ethernet port and a USB input or USB connection. The Ethernet port here is not in use right now. It is also prepared for future use. And the idea is that you can then, when you have to do service on the unit, you can visit the site and then connect the cable to the unit and to the PC and get a direct one-to-one -one connection between the two ports. Both user interviewer, both Ethernet ports are separate from each other and it is not possible to connect to the devices and equipment on Ethernet port one when you are connected to Ethernet. Actually, this is Ethernet port 0 and this is Ethernet port 1. So, when you are connected to Ethernet port 1, you are not able to connect to any devices that are connected to Ethernet port 0. The USB here is a high current output, and this output, uh, the reason it's a high current output is because um, you can use it for powering up the 3G modems or 4G modems for that particular And that is, can then be used for external internet connections. Beside that, the rest of this right side here is the same as we had before. We have the address switch, a mod bus, another mod bus, which is not in use right now as well, but it is there prepared for future use. And then we have, in this version, a long bus as well. And this version is a long 485, RS485. It is also possible to port a long TT78 with it as well. Then the connection will, of course, match the TT78. Furthermore, on the right side, we have a lid, and as usual, you can see all the details about this unit and the approvals it has. And you can also see uh, the order number and the MAC address of the unit as well. Another difference that you'll notice is that the USB connections here are changed. There are now two USB connections here which can be used 
default, accessing the unit, loading new files, backup, and other features that we're going to talk about in the different way. These are the main differences between the unit and, uh, I mean, the visual differences. If we just fix it together again here, and I'll talk a bit about the other differences we have. Those were the visual differences. If we speak about the other differences that are here, the new system has 800 is equipped with a quad core processor that will, of course, uh, make it much, much faster, and reaction time will be uh, faster as well. We are also equipped with more memory in the unit, which allows us to use a full uh, device, uh, device description files, so we can have all the device description files we have available. Now, it's the same unit in here. The alarm capacity of the unit is also increased. We now support 500 alarms in the unit. Now, beside that, also a lot of history points are increased. We are now able to have 1,000 status points and 2,000 event points in the unit. One more difference that we can't see here with our eye is that the unit is also equipped with a Wi-Fi access point. This enables us to, if, if the Wi-Fi is enabled, then we can connect to this unit. What it will do is it will create its own little Wi-Fi network, and you can connect your PC without any cables, and then connect to the unit directly via the Wi-Fi network. I'll go through how it is done in a different video, but this is also possible. All these um, things are, of course, also up to the standard today. They are, we have a uh, HTTPS enabled in this unit. That means all connections, all communications that we have here between the unit and any other external devices can be secured via HTTPS. And this, of course, improves security. That means we can't connect to the unit here in, or in the middle here and then read the commands that are being sent between the units and all the device. It's all encrypted. The screen is also the same size, but it now supports 24-bit and 32-bit image files. So we are now able to see a higher quality of picture on our screen as well. And as well, touch interfaces. That was just some of the main differences between these two units here. If you want to know more about the unit, please take contact to your team for specific support or visit our home page at www.com. Thank you. See you next time.